everybody, Ms. Johnson here. I want to take a few minutes to show you how to use the new MyOn program. Um, it's the virtual library that we just recently rolled out to you guys. Um, first and foremost, there's a couple of different ways that you can search for books. There is a visual search and a text search. In the visual search, you're basically going to be looking through topics or genres. So let's look at science and let's say Earth and Space because that's my favorite unit to teach and brightness in the sky. Okay. When you pull up a book, it's going to give you a few things. First of all, it's going to tell you the story, um, a very brief synopsis, reviews if there are any available, information about the book, and then don't worry about settings because there's nothing you can change on there anyways. You can either choose to add it to my list, maybe you're compiling a list of books to read later, maybe you're compiling a list of research options for a project, or you can read it now. So you're going to start the book. Now what you guys may not be able to hear is that it's reading it out loud for you okay um, there's a couple of different options that you can use um, for the read aloud okay if you want to flip pages you simply click the arrow I'm gonna hit the pause button because it's trying to read it and it's rather distracting when I'm trying to talk okay um, you've got two options down here this one says just word highlighting Okay, so let's watch that for just a second. You can see that it's only going to show the word actually being read. Now this is highlight the sentence. You can see there that it's going to highlight the sentence instead of just a specific word. Or you can have both. and that's going to highlight the sentence that you're on and then the specific word okay um, if you're reading this and you don't want it read aloud to you maybe that's a bother to you you can hit this guy right here Shh, he's telling you know telling you to be quiet that's gonna mute everything when you hit the play button it's gonna turn him back on okay let's look at our tools the first tool here is like a notepad. Maybe you're taking reflections, maybe you're taking down research notes while you're doing this. Next is you have a highlighting tool. Um, maybe you're looking at a specific section. Um, maybe you need to underline something pretty small. You can. You, this is your the width adjustment here. And maybe you just want to um, underline something. You can do that. Um, this is a different tool where you can choose the shape and the color and maybe you want to circle something. Maybe you want to point at something. Okay, so those are useful tools there. Oh, hit the wrong thing, sorry. This here is going to allow you to jump to different pages. Okay. Hit the wrong thing. Um, this button here is if you want to take it full screen for the whole size of your computer screen. Um, over here, this is going to give you what's available in the book that's not necessarily part of the story. So one of the big key parts on this one is the copyright. Um, a lot of your portfolio items require you to cite your sources and so this is going to give you copyright information. And then it's also going to give you once again the other stuff that's available that's not necessarily part of the story. So you can see here trapping gases, fun facts, glossary, the index, things of that nature. Now another really neat tool here is the dictionary. So let's say that you want to know what a definition of a planet is. You just type it in and let's say you misspell it. Okay, It's going to give you options of hey did you mean this? Um, you can even have it pronounce it for you. Let's say that you're in the book and you don't know what a word means. Let me pause that. So you can click, I clicked on the word Venus here, you can click on the word within the text and it'll pull up the dictionary for you. Um, right down here is the publisher um, if you need that additional information but usually you can find that on the copyright page. Okay. Alrighty. Now, 
me get back to the regular or to this uh, the dashboard here um, you can also do a text search so let's say I wanted to look at animals it's gonna pull up everything on animals okay but you're now at this point you're gonna go through the same process you click on the book you hit read it now okay if you look down here these are different tabs top rated books these um, a lot of these down here are chapter books okay you click it here time of courage you can go through read the story read the reviews see what other people say about it same thing read it now it's gonna open it up for you and you can read the book okay you've got books I've read books recently read not maybe necessarily by you most read books and then new books maybe you're looking for something that just recently came out now the program that we're running is the challenge for you to read 240 minutes by the end of April okay that's 60 minutes a, a week okay um, the my own program is gonna track this information for you okay so you don't have to keep a physical log or anything like that and we will be able to see that on our side okay I hope you guys enjoyed this program it's gonna be available through the summer and you're gonna use your same log on as you do for iStation okay if you guys have any questions or you need anything you let us know bye